Now to a dog attack in Fort Lauderdale. A pregnant woman was walking her dog when they were attacked by a pit bull. And now that pit bull's owner is nowhere to be found. Local 10 Tatsavella live now with what is being done to try to help out. That's all. Calvin, this is really a, truly a, t a tough story, I should tell you. But when you talk to this couple, they say they want to share their story for two reasons. One, because they want this guy to come forward. And two, because they don't want this happening to anybody in this neighborhood. Little Messi still has the scars from the attack. For her owners, the scars are physical and emotional. I honestly just keep having flashbacks. Danielle Lowell is seven months pregnant, shows us pictures of the cuts and scrapes from Monday morning. This owner knew that his dog was something that was wrong, like he had issues. She was walking four-year-old Messi on Davy Boulevard, just around the corner from her house on Southwest 4th Avenue here in Fort Lauderdale. All of a sudden, the dog is barreling towards us and it just attacked and went straight for my dog and I got dragged down into it because I was holding on to the leash. This is the picture her husband says he snapped of the guy when he showed up on scene to help his wife and dog. I'm screaming. I mean, I like, I'll get off my dog and uh, help, help. And he's like screaming that his dog has, he has problems, he has problems. And I just didn't understand like what that meant. My dog screaming, crying and there was no separating the two because his jaw was just locked. Daniel's husband, Alec, says it was traumatizing to see his wife and dog covered in blood. When I answered the phone, I mean, she was hysterical, naturally. Of course, he was highly concerned about his wife as she is 32 weeks pregnant. Ruben Roloff was the name that he provided. Neither the dog nor the name that he had provided um, was anywhere to be found. And so this couple believes this man gave them the wrong name. They're hopeful he comes forward, though, so that he can provide them with the vaccination records for the dog. As for the mom-to-be, she was checked out at the hospital, and the baby is fine. For now, reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News.